Move over, Kelly Clarkson. Blake Shelton has a new arch enemy on The Voice. It didn't start that way, however. The cowboy went into the third night of blind auditions on Tuesday with a clear strategy, anytime I can help Ariana Gran, I feel like I should. She's the new coach and I want Ariana fans on my side, Shelton said, referring to her 268 million Instagram followers and potential voters. The Voice veteran, 45, even dubbed the newest coach as Grand, daughter, saying, I look at you as a granddaughter. Grand, 28, replied, Thank you Grandpa. Shelton enacted his master plan after Grand, Kelly Clarkson and John Legend all turned for Raquel Trinidad's soulful rendition of Stevie Wonder's I Wish. I can have an unbiased opinion here and help you choose Ariana as your coach, Shelton said. I don't want to see you end up with two coaches that are jaded, that have been here for a while and proven season after season that they can't win. Ouch. The Voice Premier Ariana Grande vows to a baby for singer and cutthroat debut Trinidad selected Grand as her coach. Legend took note, I think Blake is sucking up to Ariana. I think Blake is always up to his old tricks. You can't trust him. Shelton struck again following Haley. Mia's mature performance of Tate McRae's You Broke Me First, telling the 13, year, old singer, you are in the position to be the youngest person to win the voice, the other first would be if you won this with Ariana. A frustrated Clarkson objected, Ariana Grande doesn't need any help. She's Ariana Grande, Blake never helped me. You've always been against me since season 14. Mia selected Grand over Clarkson. And although Grand was happy to secure the young powerhouse, she saw right through Shelton's antics, I see what's happening and am flattered. But I'm not dumb, I'm not falling for it. Last week on The Voice, Ariana Grande disowns Pav after this singer had the audacity to perform at Shelton's plan backfired. When he was looking for an assist from Grant to win Jeremy Rosado, who sang Rascal Flats Here Comes Goodbye, over Clarkson, Grant said goodbye to the Reliance. I think Kelly might be the right fit, Grant said to Shelton's dismay. He protested, it's on now. You don't realize the huge divide you just created right here. Shelton protested some more, I can't believe. Ariana just did that after having her back and trying to help her. It was a slap in the face. The friendship is over. But wait, Darius Moore, you stabbed me in the back. You are not my granddaughter anymore. Clarkson gloated, sisters over misters. But it was everyone for themselves on four, chair turned Carson Peters, who impressed all the judges with Eric Clapton's Tulsa time. Grand turned to strategy, I have no one on my team that is a country artist. Legend pulled out his EGOT, CMT, I literally just won a CMT award, my very first award, with Carrie Underwood. Clarkson pointed out her resume, my country singers. Took trophies home. And Shelton played hardball, let's not mess around with what this opportunity is for you. Let's do this right, although Peters initially said he would pick Grand because he's a high school boy, the 17, year. Old ultimately picked Shelton over his knowledge of country music. Looks like Shelton got the last laugh, what's sad and funny is the fact that, the other coaches, thought they had a chance. Don't mess with the cowboy. Blind auditions resume on The Voice Tuesday, NBC, ADDT slash PDT.